When you give some of these people in government an important post, i.e. running the health department, running the education department, running the defence department, very important jobs, wouldn't you say? And it always amazes me what a complete and utter cock-up they make of the whole thing every single time. And why should Gavin Williamson be any different? How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Wednesday. Hope you're doing all right. Well, the uh, threats of sacking are descending on Gavin Williamson in about time too, I'd say. Gavin Williamson, the ex-fireplace salesman, ex-defence secretary and en current education secretary is living on borrowed time. It would appear that Boris is starting to drop hints that he could be looking at losing his job and according to the press Gavin Williamson is wetting himself at the, pro, uh, the prospect. It's really coming home to roost as they say the hints and the leaks are going round that he could soon be replaced by another minister and he's saying he knows where the bodies are buried he's not going to go quietly he's making thinly veiled threats to boris he's expecting something well threaten away because i think you should be and probably the majority of this country think you should be sacked and go back to your previous job as a fireplace salesman you've got it completely wrong with the bubbles in the schools You've got it completely wrong, which has led to the disruption in children's education. You've got it completely wrong with the GCSE results a year ago. And you've got it completely wrong with the A-levels. The whole education department under your stewardship has been a complete and utter farce. And it needs to stop. There's no respect for your authority anymore. I mean, you look at the group of universities that make up the Russell group you've turned around to them and told them to stop doing zoom lessons and they've stuck two royal fingers up at you and said no thank you Mr Williamson we'll carry on regardless see at the end of the day you're living on borrowed time and I think you're going to find yourself out on your ear at some point in the not too distant and I wonder what you will do next perhaps you could do a Hancock and disappear from view and pop up later hoping to score another high profile cabinet position somehow I doubt it that leads me on to another point with these politicians who occupy these cabinet positions you look at Sajid Javid who's another one he is currently the health secretary re replacing Matt Hancock. So he's working with jabs and health and all the rest of it. But he had a previous job as a chancellor of the Exchequer, working with numbers instead. So I do have to wonder what professional experience these ministers bring into the posts that they're actually entrusted to run responsibly. And how can you interchange from one post to another? It just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And I think the lack of that experience at the top is why we're in the disarray we're in further down the pecking order. Let me know what you think, but it's blatantly bloody obvious. Going back to Gavin Williamson though, I wish you luck in your new career. I get a feeling you will be shifting very, very soon. This is the Gabby Cabby for now, signing off. Toodaloo.